What a weather. I am feeling so hot here. Let me on the AC for you. Oh bro, make it fast. Oh, I am feeling better now. Bro, do you know how the AC works? No bro, tell me how it works. Firstly, you know our room temperature is loose, lesser than the temperature outside. I guess that's because of the walls. Yeah. According to the second law of thermodynamics, the heat flows from the hotter region to a colder region. But our ACs prevent this from happening. But how? AC actually works on the principle of a heat pump. Yeah, I know how the heat pump works. It directs the flow of energy in the way opposite to the flow of spontaneous flow. Exactly. To simply say, it works opposite to the heat engine. As you know, the components of the heat pump are the cold reservoir, the hot reservoir, the heat sink, and the system that works on the, the working substance. Yeah, I know that the energy flows from heat source to the system that will work on the working substance and then pours out the energy to the heat sink. Just the opposite happens in the heat pump. The system works on the cold reservoir and pours into the hot reservoir. Applying this on our AC, which is the system here. Our room is the heat source and the outside environment is the heat sink. Then what about the working substance? Oh, that's Ferron. It's actually a mixture of gas and liquid. It's a coolant, which is our working substance that makes the transfer of heat from indoor to the outdoor. Bro, just tell me how this works. AC mainly has four components. A compressor, a expansion valve, and the main things is the tube coil. The first one is the evaporator, which is kept inside the room, and the condenser, which is kept outside the room. The vapor coolant inside the evaporator has lower temperature than that of the room. So it absorbs the heat. The vapors which absorbs the heat goes into the compressor, which compresses the vapor to a liquid state. As the pressure is high, it changes the state to liquid coolant. And the liquid coolant gets hot also. It then flows into the condenser, where the heat is transferred to the environment. To make it easier, a fan is also used. Here, the liquid coolant loses the heat, so the temperature of the liquid coolant decreases. Then it enters the expansion valve, which causes the pressure exerted on the liquid coolant to go down, causing it to change its previous state. So the mixture of vapor and liquid is again formed. As pressure decreases, the temperature is also getting decreased to a level which is lower than the room temperature. And the whole process repeats. In actual AC, the compressor sits near the condenser and the expansion valve sits near to the evaporator. As it is near to the evaporator coil, the air temperature will be low. This will lead to the water condensation on the evaporator coils. That's why we need a pipe to remove this water condensation. In short, by controlling the compressor, and the expansion, we can control the coolant and the room will get cooler than the environment. So, AC acts like a system by controlling compressor and expansion valve and other components which used electrical energy to transfer heat from room to the environment. Yeah, now you got the idea behind the AC, right? Yeah, bro. Thank you.